we're sitting in on a rehearsal of A Far Cry. These talented and ambitious young musicians came together four years ago to form a group that they were determined would be an integral part of the community where they lived, the Jamaica Plain neighborhood of Boston, or JP, as it is usually referred to locally. Their rehearsal space is in a storefront on the busy main drag. The 39 bus stops right out front. All decisions are made collectively, and leadership rotates among the players for different pieces. We wanted to see how this worked, and get a sense of what goes into preparing a piece for performance. For their upcoming concert, they're performing a piece by Gabriela Lina Frank, a young American composer whose heritage is a mixture of Lithuanian, Jewish, Chinese, and Peruvian. For this piece, she draws heavily on her Peruvian background, using Western stringed instruments to evoke the sounds of wooden flutes, panpipes, and guitars. I think that there are a lot of special sort of sound effects, almost bordering on extended technique, and it's very evocative of all these, these fantastic sounds from the Andes. It really brings out the best qualities of our group, in a sense that, you know, that everyone's a soloist and everyone's a chamber musician. The piece has complex and irregular rhythms. We wondered how they stay together without a conductor. They start by counting. Do it one more time and really this time focus not so much on the counting but on the dynamics because I want to feel when the sections like rise, you know. If we can give those the same enunciation if they have that character. Can I can we just can we just add one more thing is like if you have accents over your phrase, count them along along with how you would phrase the accents. We're gonna count with dynamics. Okay, count your dynamic dynamics. As the primary thing. So dynamics, accents and energy. One, two, three. The final movement of the piece is what composer Gabriella Frank calls a flirtatious love song, sung by gallant men known as romanceros. The first violins are the romanceros, who sing against a backdrop of guitars played by the violas and second violins, which Frank describes as a storm of guitars. The storm of guitars moment is, you know, we've got, we, we sort of, in our minds, we pictured a big chorus of guitars, maybe playing on these big, huge, you know, huge things, creating a huge, lots of sound. And, and there's a lot of ways we could do it, but the elements that we combine are a glissando with the left hand and the... The way she augmented it into a string orchestra piece is the effect of these storming guitars are just that much more exciting and grander in scope. And, and I think you can really, really hear that um, just in terms of the texture of what, we, what, uh, what we're trying to portray. ¶¶ 